Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem right away. We have 8 to the power of x to be equal to x to the power of 6. And the question is, what is the value of x? Okay, so to get started, we are going to look for a way to remove this x from here. So I'll have 8 to the power of x multiplied by 1 over x. Now this will be equal to x to the power of 6 multiplied by x, okay, by 1 over x. Because whatever you do on one side, you must do it on the other side. Now this can cancel this, and 8 is now equal to x to the power of 6, okay, multiplied by 1 over x. And now what do I do? I need to remove this from here. But before then, re remember that if you have x to the power of m to the power of n, it is the same thing as x to the power of n to the power of m. This is because when you are multiplying, the arrangement does not matter, okay? Now, I'm going to bring 1 over x inside and take 6 to the other side. So, 8 will be equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now, I can take 6 outside. Now, what do I do next? I'm going to remove this 6 from here by multiplying this side by 1 over 6 and then raising this, the left-hand side to 1 over 6. Now this can cancel this. And we have 8 to the power of 1 over 6 to be equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now let's take another step. Remember 8 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2, right? This is to the power of 1 over x. And then this is equal to x, okay, x to the power of 1 over x. 2 times 2 times 2 is 2 to the power of 3 in index form. And then we have 1 over, okay, this is actually 6. Okay, this is 1 over 6, so here we have 1 over 6. And it's equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, we can multiply this to have 2 to the power of 3 over 6 which is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 3 over 6 in its lowest term will give us 1 over 2. And then this will now be equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And at this point, we'll compare the values. Okay, if we want to compare the basis, we have x to be equal to 2, right? That is when we compare the basis. Now, let's pick the powers. If you pick the power, you're going to have 1 over 2 to be equal to 1 over x. We have 1 here, we have 1 here. Therefore, the basis here should be the same thing, meaning that x is also equal to 2. So if you compare the power, x is equal to 2. And if you compare the basis, S, x is equal to 2. Now, let's bring back the equation. We have 8 to the power of x equal to x to the power of 6. Now, let us compare this. Let's check if we are correct. We have our x to be 2. So, we're going to have 8 to the power of 2. And then on the right hand, on the right hand side here, we're going to have 2 to the power of 6. 8 to the power of 2 is 8 times 8, and that will give 64. And then 2 to the power of 6 is 2 times 2 times 2 in 6 places, and that will also give 64. So therefore, therefore, we have x to be equal to 2, and it is correct. Thank you for watching.